thanks again for being a part of our journey as we share our experiences um as we embark on our journey as scotch money paper farmers in jamaica we really want to make this into a business um large scale farming is what we aspire for and after plot one we acquired another piece of land with the assistance of a farmer within the area this land as you saw earlier was quite was well a lot of bushes but then we started land clearing and land preparation we this plot the land in its entirety is five acres approximately and we started out with one acre so we plowed one acre we also got some hose with this property when we leased it um and uh, but we had to buy about three additional rolls of drip hose um the land was prepared and we started laying out the hose and as we went along we realized that we needed some additional hose for the property so it came time for planting we were very excited and we had ordered seedlings from a nursery um, we bought we well, we got about 9200 and we got sufficient support to complete planting in a day okay. what to drive off 25 trees of peppers. Need to get that big one. <laughs> okay, we drive. So good. Ooh. Peppers all around. So today is planting day. Yeah, so this is my fourth trip. So we are planting 9,000, around 9,200 seedlings today. And so, should be finished by three, four. I'm hoping by two because the water from NIC goes at 2 p.m. and water is an integral part of the planting. So I'm hoping that we'll get through by two. Nevertheless, we're at it. So yeah, planting was it was fun we got persons to assist us on this plot if you recall on plot one it took us about a week to plant about six thousand seedlings and here at plot two we had over 10 persons planting and we were complete um by about 3 p.m that day the it was an exciting time to see that we've completed all our planting and then we were able to see like this very big plot um for the first time we had so many plants in one place and we had a plot of this size um so it was very exciting and encouraging and we were like hopeful to see what the plants would um would look like
and the one your land insists for clone me out. Long day's work, and as you can see, it needs some tender loving here. Come on, here, come on, here. Oh, yes, I do. No, 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 and then came the lane of the plastic mulch this was always and always will be i think one of the hardest parts of it um because it takes such care and technique um so for this plot again we got help and it took us a week and a half compared to three weeks at plot one and this is a, a bigger property a bigger plot so everyone came out in their numbers and their mother church hats and we just tried to have a good time doing it to kind of lessen the, the effects of the work um, persons had their own tasks some persons were laying down some persons were rolling out plastic and i was the master cutter we had to take extreme care when dealing with these um, again on plot one when we when we did the plastic the plants were much bigger and so we had some um, plants breaking and this plot we didn't really suffer any breakage of that sort of any plants it was teamwork some persons were digging and some persons were putting down the plastic and this took us into the night sometimes So we had to buy additional plastic mulch for plot one it took us one and a half rolls of plastic and the roll of plastic is about a kilometer long and for this plot it took us two and a quarter rolls of plastic so we went to Isratech. we drove for about an hour and a half to get there um to purchase some additional plastic complete the work at plot two. So we decided that we're going to get up early on the following weekend um, and we decided to cook and got some persons to come in to assist us some additional persons to come in to assist us in putting down the plastic again i think we kind of underestimated what it would take here uh, the number of rows were well plot one had uh, about 27 rows and this plot has 56 rows. So as we said, teamwork makes the dream work. And so we were in teams and some persons were digging. We dig um we would dig rows, well some channels on each side of the rows so that we'd have enough dirt to cover the plastic to hold it down. So we had persons digging, some persons cutting holes, and then other persons laying down the plastic over those holes 
the big man clad at it again um by any means necessary it will be done and tracy is always there with us in everything that we are doing getting her hands dirty and being a part of it we had a few laughs this man here is very very funny um and thanks to my mother we had a few good dumplings as well um she did salt fish and tomato and sheldon won a roll upon six wheels but it was good it was a good day it was good food good family and some good laughs at the end of that day we completed 18 rows but we as i said before we had 56 so what we did we went there in the evenings after work and we completed it in the week that followed so it was after we would have finished working every day we went there and whoever was able to assist us assisted us and we completed the plastic mulching So I was the master cutter, so I ended up cutting out 9, 000, over 9,000 holes in the plastic. Um, and let me tell you, like, when we done, my back was non-existent. Like, bending over to cut out those holes was not an easy feat. And Sheldon walked on his knees for over 2 kilometers. <laughs> Claude, he was doing everything. He was digging and laying down plastic, so it was it was just rough overall. It was it was a difficult um, thing, but when it was complete, it was such a such a relief and felt like such an accomplishment. When it was done, we just went back through to make sure that all the plants had enough space to come through, um, and this. This again took us a little while, but it was fulfilling.
we went there again and we just looked at it it was just so beautiful to see the plants coming up and savannah kai was always excited to be a part of the process Yes, take them off. Don't take, I'm not going to take out the mint. Let's get the mint that's good. Okay. Thank you. I never don't take any weed. What? I don't take any weed. Sure. I don't take any weed. Thanks to Kirk for assisting us in our new designing our new trend and pest and disease management program. And I mean, we can already see the results of it. Like since we planted and we started the program, we were able to see the differences and the plants thriving because of it. So we would just go there and we would remove the weeds again like if you realize we are able to just remove the weeds from around immediately around the plants we don't have to contend with weed anywhere else and so this is why the plastic is just so helpful to us um the difficult part is like when we go there in the evenings we don't have enough time so we are not able to remove all the weeds so having to walk away from walk away knowing that there are still weeds at the roots of some plants and they have to go back tomorrow to do it that was difficult for me um Shelana to pry me from there many nights to to go home and to to return the next day to continue weeding The one thing that we can say we've already learned from plot two is when we got the seedlings, we got them at different growth stages. And so when they started coming up, some were more advanced than others. So for plot three, that is something that we would want to change. And then the rains came and based on our experience, we've been watering these plants every day well as much as they need it and we saw great changes by a few showers of rain now the rain does something to these plants it gave them a, an extra push and within a few days they were just so much bigger producing more much greener than they were before
so the plants are now 10 weeks old they started flowering at about well some plants started flowering about six weeks in the ground and we continually fed the plants through both the drip irrigation well through the fertigation system applied nutrients there and also through the foliage we also manage well the pests and diseases thanks to our plan and we can really see the mark differences again compared to plot one plot one really was it was a pilot and it was a learning experience and now we are seeing fruits so big um and so many so many fruits to a plant and they are large large fruits and the trees are looking healthy like seeing all these fruits so big and so healthy um it's really promising for us it's really encouraging and we really are looking forward to our first harvest the pictures and videos none do these fruits no justice they are huge and it is so encouraging to see them and we pray that the plants will continue to produce in this way we'll continue to feed them and we are looking forward to plot three we have started setting our seedlings for plot three so we're hoping that we'll get some healthy seedlings and we'll be able to to replicate what is here we know there's much to learn but we are looking forward to that process continue to join us um, as we go on this journey together and feel free to give us some tips and tricks based on your experiences <music>